Hello guys. How is everyone today? We are running a quick little errand and I wanted to do that video. I kept saying I was going to do this and then I didn't. And I want to do a video. This is, look, it's not meant to be taken super seriously. Am I saying that these are the you know, rules and if you break them, you're a sinner. No, I'm not. But these are just things that I'm guilty for judging people over. And so I think that this can be taken out of context very easily. And by me sharing my opinions, all of a sudden it's how dare anyone have an opinion about anything and you know then you guys know how it is it's it's all the I can share my opinions but you can't share yours kind of thing let's kind of like crinkle that up and throw it all in the trash because it's bullshit let's just throw that all in the garbage we're all allowed to have an opinion and just because mine might be a little bit different from someone else's Please, let's not take it too serious. This is just how I think. If you don't think this way or if someone else doesn't think this way, fine. But I think that this will also give you guys a little bit of insight as to some things that I grew up with and why I now can be guilty of judging other people for doing the same thing. Alongside opening up the conversation, with you guys it also might be just a little telling and give you guys a little bit more info as to things that I saw in my adolescence so um, let's get right into it now the last disclaimer that I want to make for this video is that everyone can sit up on their high horse and claim that they don't judge people but I guarantee you even people who do their very best to never judge others and keep their opinions to themselves just because the opinion doesn't come out of your mouth doesn't mean that it doesn't exist so do what you want with that but it's just a reminder that we all look at things and say, hmm, I don't know if I would do things that way, or I might have done it this way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's all good. Now, I do think that there are some people that can be very harsh in their judgments and the kinds of things that I try to stay away from judging people on is if I look at a scenario and then I think of, well, that person might be doing that because they're depressed or maybe they have anxiety or addiction issues or mental health, you know, problems. So some things I do look at it that way and I tend to not judge people once I consider that, um, but e either way, too many disclaimers. Okay, so first and foremost, parents who trash talk, let's just say that there is a couple who has a child or children and they either break up or they get a divorce or they're separated, so they're trying to co-parent their children. When I hear one parent trash talking the other parent in front of the child, I cannot stand that. It bothers me so, so deeply because obviously, like I said earlier, it'll give you some insight into things that I saw. And I remember my mom would talk poorly about my dad to me and in front of me, and I hated it. A, it didn't work, but B, it puts the child in a very compromising circumstance and it makes them question 
Can I trust my other parent? Can I go to them with problems? Should I not be enjoying spending time with them? It can cause so many mental issues for the child. And I get, well, I don't get personally, but I imagine that co-parenting can be very difficult. But it's also, to me, of all the things that are difficult, there's just no worth in talking shit about the other parent to a child. Um, You know, and a lot of times I'll see this where it's a really young child who hasn't even fully gotten to the point where they understand what's happening. Why are my parents separated? Why are they not living in the same house? Or they used to live in the same house, now they're not. So they haven't even understood that part of it, of having two homes, two bedrooms, two Christmases. Then here you are with one parent or both talking shit about the other one to the child or around the child. You know, if you're that frustrated with the person who you're no longer with, then talk to your friends, talk to whomever it is that you vent to, but take five minutes and go outside and make sure that your child doesn't hear this because it will cause so much long-term damage to the child that the parent might not even realize. But if you're, if you're doing that, if you're doing it in front of the child, you know, because you slipped up and you didn't realize or whatever, I get mistakes happen. But if a parent is deliberately trash talking the other parent in front of the child so that the child wants to live with them or spend more time with them or will like them more, that is the stuff I can't not stand. So next, let's talk about the mistreatment of service people. Now, I say service people specifically because I see this a lot of times in restaurants or with like janitorial staff where because they are in a service position, they are not treated with the same respect that, uh, you know, uh, manager would be or the owner of the restaurant. The waiters are not treated with the same respect as the owner or the manager is. Or if you're talking about at a school, there's no reason why the janitor should be treated any different than the dean or the principal or the vice principal. So when I see people making rude comments, talking down to mistreating, disrespecting service people. Let's make it more of a norm to make sure that the janitors are treated with the same amount of dignity and respect as the CEOs and the CFOs of companies. Next, let's talk about another one that came from my childhood smoking in the same house as your children. I told you guys a story about this. I would go visit my mom. She always said, oh, I don't like smoking in the house, but I would wake up at 1 a.m. to the smell of cigarette smoke in my bedroom because she would be in her bedroom or in the bathroom with the doors closed smoking a cigarette because she didn't feel like going outside or it was too cold or it was too hot. So she would just sit in her room. This is disgusting. First of all, don't smoke in your house when you have kids or pets. If it's just you yourself and that's something that you don't care about, whatever. But when you're putting other people's lives at risk because you're too lazy to get off your ass and go stand outside and smoke a cigarette, you are making your bad habit other people's problem by smoking in your house. And You know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that just because you're smoking in another room with the door closed and you have great air filtration or a good circulation or you have a fan or whatever the fuck, that doesn't mean anything because when you're sitting in this bedroom smoking, the air vents all connect to other rooms in the house. So unless you're living in like a 20 bedroom mansion that has two different circulation systems, 
and you're on that wing and your kid's on the other wing, which, you know, maybe one out of 25 million might apply to this, don't smoke in the house with your kids. Don't smoke in the house with your pets. Secondhand cigarette smoke is so dangerous and so toxic to small children, teenagers. Don't expose them to your nasty habit. You guys know I used to be a cigarette smoker too. So I'm not shaming cigarette smokers. I get it. It's a bad habit. It's hard to break. It relieves stress for people. You know, it breaks up the day, gets you out of the office, all that good stuff. Totally understand it. But let's not allow people to say, oh, well, I'm in another room. It's bullshit. Stop. Okay. And the last one that I have for you guys, I told you this is a short list because I do, you know, try to take other things into consideration before I actually judge people. But these are things I feel really strongly about. When someone says, I don't like animals versus I don't want to be a pet owner. So I hear this a lot where people will say, I don't have any interest in owning a pet. It's not for me. It doesn't fit my lifestyle. I don't have the time or the interest in having a pet in my home. Totally get that. We were in a six year period where we were not fit to have a dog in our house. We moved, we ended up getting Axel. You guys know the rest of the story. But when someone says they just don't like animals, I'm judging you for that. Understand, maybe you're not a dog person or a cat person and you don't want them in your house. But I do hear people just blatantly say, I don't like animals or I hate animals. And I don't understand how people could hate something so pure that is an animal. They do nothing, you know, I get, Okay, I hate snakes and spiders, fine. But as far as domesticated animals, I just don't understand how someone could look at the loyalty and endless love that a dog provides to its humans and say, I hate animals. It's just something I don't understand. Again, I don't wanna have a pet. I'm not interested in having a pet in my home or in my space. That's one thing, but again, I'm focusing on the I hate animals you know, statement that I hear from some people, I will judge you. So just to recap from the top, let's not smoke cigarettes in your home, even if it's in a different room when you have children or pets in your house. Let's not say I hate animals. You don't want to own a pet. All good. Cool. Let's not mistreat people in the service industry. Let's not mistreat anybody who is trying to do their job and just exist and pay bills. But specifically, when we're talking about people that are in service roles, let's stop talking down to them and giving them less respect than the CEOs. Not cool. And lastly, don't talk shit about the other parent in front of your children. There are many other options than doing that. And trust me, from firsthand experience, talking trash about one parent in front of your child when they are in your possession, it's going to do nothing but push that child away from you as they grow and get older and wiser and catch on to your game. And it's also going to cause a lot of mental health issues and confusion. Confusion specifically with younger kids and the mental health issues could come later in life it's sad and it's avoidable. So talk to a therapist, talk to your friends, family, whoever you vent to, but just make sure that your kid is not in hearing distance. I don't think that's a lot to, um, you know, ask of. And again, I'm not ever saying that I know what it's like to be a parent going through a separation, a divorce, the stress, all the stuff. I'm not saying that I understand that side of it, but I do understand the flip side of that because of things that I went through in my childhood, and I can tell you guys that it did nothing to work in the favor of my mom. So either way, that's it for now. Um, yeah, I wanted to do this little video for you guys. So I'm gonna run my errand, and then I might check in with you guys in a sec, so I'll see you in a minute. Hello guys, I'm back. So 
figured I would talk to you for just a couple minutes more before I close out this video. So it's very interesting because I've read a lot of articles about what people will judge you for, what people are judging you for when you're not looking, or what an employer what an employer is going to judge you for before meeting you or upon first impression. Like I've seen so many of these articles over the years and you know, most of the most of the things on the list are your teeth, your clothing, um, your vocabulary. Those are usually the normal things that they say people will judge you over. And I'll tell you guys the reason why I don't judge people off of the way that they dress or their vocabulary or their teeth you know, these kind of vain things that a lot of people get judged over. The reason that I don't judge people off of those things is, is because most of them tie down to money. And I know for me personally, when I was, I told you guys about the chapter that I had over a few years where I was taking public transportation and working, not making a whole lot of money and money was tight. So during that period, I myself had issues with buying clothing that would present really well and look fancy. You know, I did my best with what we had, but it was a lot of uh, Target and Old Navy. I still shop at Target and Old Navy all the time. Like, don't don't shame people that shop at places like Old Navy. Um, so it was a lot of working with what I had. And when I hear people say, oh, well, she's dressing this certain way, or he had bad teeth, or he had acne, like these kinds of things, like it's stupid to judge someone off of those because you don't know why they haven't gotten their teeth fixed or whatever. You know, getting braces is expensive. Getting veneers is very expensive. Getting dental work, period, is expensive. Um, and when it comes to judging someone off of their vocabulary, maybe they didn't finish school because they you know, were given the responsibility at a young age to t care for younger siblings. And maybe they were pushed into a situation they didn't want to be in. But when you're a kid, sometimes you're put in situations and it might not be the best for your future, but you're also a kid and you aren't in a position where you're gonna tell your parents no. So there are a lot of different circumstances that can come into play where it might, you know, those kinds of things, like, I keep the judgments to myself because I realize that money has a lot to do with certain things. Um, so, either way, I did want to add this little part in the end. I can see this video already going off the hinges, but whatever. I'm always going to tell you guys my honest opinion on stuff and it's all good, you know, and you guys, I always want you to feel safe to share your opinions in my comments, even if they are opposing mine or whatever I've always said, I'm up for a discussion. Um, but I will tell you if you come in my comments and call me a dumb bitch, and then try to tell me why I'm wrong, I probably won't react in the way that I would otherwise. But that's just a little side note. Yeah, either way, for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.